Welcome to page 23 of Excel packet number four. On this page, our I can statement is <clears throat> given a rate and a total, I can find part of the total. Remember, percents are proportional. So the foundation for our equation is k times x equals y. But we use a specialized version of that formula. Rate times total equals part. So we take out the k and the x, although k still represents rate. In our case, we're going to use an r for rate times t, the total x, equals y, the part we're in search of. So our formula will look like this. r times t equals p. And we're going to be using a tape diagram. Let's go shopping and use this formula to calculate a sale price and a savings. Let's begin. Let's say we're going shopping and we come across a jacket that originally costs $60. That is the original price or our dollar total. And that represents 100% of the cost. Let's say today the jacket is on sale and we get to save part of that $60. Let's say today the savings is given at a rate of 30%. So we get to save 30% out of 100. So the sale price, which makes up the other part of the bar, the sale price or the sale cost, is 70% of the original amount. Now let's change each of these rates to their decimal equivalent. Divide by 100, and that means that's equivalent to 0 0.30. And over here, if we divide by 100 and convert it to a decimal, that's a rate of 0 0.70. Of those two rates, the 30% is known as the discount rate. That is the rate at which we save. The 70% well, that represents the sale price rate. That's the rate at which we spend on this particular jacket. Think of it this way. Let's convert 100% to its decimal equivalent, which is 1.00. Think of that as representing one whole dollar bill. That means we get to save 30 cents of every dollar for the jacket but we must spend 70 cents for every original dollar. We're going to calculate how many dollars we save on this particular jacket, and we're going to calculate how many dollars we spend. Think of it this way. 60 is our total amount. Part of that 60 you get to save. Part of that $60, you have to spend on the cost or the sale price of the jacket. Those two parts will add up to 60 total. Let's begin and let's make sure we use our formula to calculate the part that we save and the part that we spend. Let's start by calculating the savings. Part of that original 
we get to save. And we save at a rate of 0 0.30 or 30 hundredths or 30 cents of every dollar. And when we figure out the savings part of the bar, we're going to use that rate. The total is 60. Here we go, R times T equals P. Please take a moment and set up this T chart. We are going to calculate our savings first. Pause the video if you need a bit of time. Our rate is 0 0.30 and we're going to multiply that times 60, our total. Grab your calculator and quickly punch in 0 0.30 times 60. You should have gotten $18. You get to save $18. How about how much do you have to spend? What is your sale price? Well, for the sale price, we're going to use a rate of 0 0.70. We get to spend at a rate of 70 cents out of every dollar. We're still going to use the total of 60, but this rate will be slightly different. So for the sale price, 70 cents, 0 0.70 times 60 equals the part we owe the store, also known as the sale price. Please write down all these notes and now, punch into your calculator 0 0.70 times 60. And when you're ready, write your answer down. Pause the video if you need time to take the notes. We owe the store $42. That's the part we have to spend for this particular jacket. Notice that 42 plus 18, and we can double check this off to the side, the part we spend, known as the sale price, and the portion we get to save, known as the savings, if you take those parts and add them together, you're going to get your total of $60. 60 is divided, of course, into those two dollar parts. This concludes the page on sale price and savings.